I'm as single as a snowflake in the middle of Texas in the summertime, okay? I'm single. So, Titus 2 doesn't really apply to me, right? Let's just read it real quick. Titus 2, 3 through 5. Older women likewise are to be reverent in behavior, not slanderers or much slave to wine. They are to teach what is good and so train the younger women to love their husbands and children, to be self-controlled, pure, working at home, kind, and submissive to their own husbands, that the word of God may not be reviled. Okay, hold on. Backtrack. It says train the young women to love their husbands and children. Think about it. We're inherently sinful. We're not the most kind-hearted. We're not the most self-controlled. We're not the most pure. We're not the most submissive women that we could be whenever the Holy Spirit refines us and refines our character. If you're single, be encouraged that you can get a head start. You can start learning now how to have all these godly attributes so that whenever you are married and whenever you do become a mother, you're not gonna be perfect or anything, but you'll definitely already have a head, a head up. You'll definitely already have a leg up. It's not like whenever I get married and I kiss and say I do and all of a sudden I'm a wife, I'm just gonna be like the world's best wife known to mankind. Or whenever I bear a child and I'm all of a sudden a mother, I'm just gonna be the best mother that ever walked the face of the planet. No, the Holy Spirit has to work on our hearts. We have to learn how to be gentle, kind, submissive, loving, um, supportive. We have to learn how to take on our role. <laughs> Okay, okay, let me go down. Look at Titus 2, 1 through 8. It's all about mentorship, whether it's talking about the older men to the younger men or the older women to the younger women. Like in 2, 1, it says, teach what accords with sound doctrine. In 2, 3, it says, teach what is good. In 2, 4, it says, train the young women. So I just wanted to encourage all the women to read Titus 2, to get somebody in your life who is a mother, who is a wife, but somebody who is mature in the Lord, and that wants to help you mature in the Lord so that whenever it is your time to serve your husband and it is your time to love your children, you know how to do it well. I just want to tell you about this amazing book, Feminine Appeal by Carolyn Mahaney. This book is amazing. This entire book is about Titus 2, 3 through 5. It's beautiful, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. And I am super single, but this book is just teaching me so much about what it means to be um, godly a godly woman about what it means to have femininity that glorifies the Lord has really just kind of hit me over the head and said you don't know anything pretty much <laughs> so every week I get together with an older woman from my church who is a wife who is a mother who has been in the faith for a while and is mature in her faith and she we go over it together we do a chapter a week I would suggest that you fellowship with older mature women in the church especially if you're single um, especially if you're married especially if you're human you're gonna need somebody to help you so <laughs>